a two-cycle engine that I have converted to run off of compressed air. Up here we have a solenoid valve and there's the key cutoff switch. And that solenoid valve is operated by this little reed switch right here that turns on when the piston's coming down because of these magnets right there. And so as it passes by, it turns on the reed switch, which lets power from this battery go to that as the piston's just starting to come down. And so, and it shuts it off once the piston's all the way down and starts coming back up. And over here, I have a flywheel on there that I made out of a five pound weight. And there's the, I used a nut that goes onto that shaft of the engine, and I JB welded it onto there. And so, I guess I will start it up and let you guys see it run. So, turn on the switch there, the cutoff switch, and just rotate that to get the start, and here's it running. And right now there's like 40 PSI, it's just running off 40 PSI, and it could probably, it would probably run at the same speed if I use less pressure. And you can see the piston going in there, and spinning, you can see the side spinning. I did leave the muffler on there, I'm not sure how much that um, makes a difference. Here, I guess I'll try just putting a... Well, that makes it a lot quieter. And I seems to actually slow it down when I do that, so I guess I'll just leave that open. And... If I move this reed switch further away from the flywheel, it actually slows down the engine because it doesn't stay, the reed switch doesn't stay open as long since it's not as close to the magnets on the flywheel there. And so when it's closer, the reed switch stays on longer, which lets more air flow through, and so it goes faster. And so right here you can see it's going at like a slow idle speed almost, and then you can move it down. It up and slow it down. And I was kind of put some load on it. It's not too powerful, but it's only running off of 40 psi. If I use more pressure, it would be a bit more powerful. But I'm putting some resistance on it. A fair amount of resistance. So I'll let it spin up and then I'll just cut the switch right there and let's see it spin down. And that's the engine.